Hello, welcome to my how to install Friday Night Funkin' PlayStation 1 port on PlayStation 2 OPL tutorial. All you will need in prerequisite is a memory card with free McBoot installed, and OPL installed, open PS2 launcher, and a USB. Once you get your USB, you need to format it to FAT32. All you need to do is go here and then go to FAT32. And this is the actual tutorial after you're done with that. You'll need to go to the GitHub page for PlayStation 1 port, made by Cookie Dev, awesome person, really talented. Go to the latest releases right here. You need to get this zip right here, and once it's downloaded, you need to extract it. Now, in the description, there is going to be a file with everything that you need for this already, like there, the converted files and everything. So you can just skip this and go to the description. But if you want to learn how to do it, you need to take your bin and your Q file from the GitHub. You open this program called PS PSX VDCD. Sorry for my shit pronunciation, which you can download right here. You need to run that. You need to add your Funkin' Q, and then you need to convert it. Now it's being sent to my USB Pops folder, and everything you need for Pops is right here. Uh, you need to make a folder on your USB right here called Pops. Now once it's done converting and it's in the Pops folder on the root of your USB, you're going to want to go to OPL Manager. Right here is the download link to the OPL Manager. And once you open it up and it reads your file directory, I put it to the normal, just my USB. It's going to show up right here. You got to batch convert the VCD naming, uh, go to USB. Hit start. This is nonsense, ignore this. Close it. And right here, it's not gonna have any art whenever you first convert it. Go to manage art and click this to like open up where you want your art, like what shows up. Like click this if you want to set your screenshot. Uh, right here in the assets folder, once again in the description, I put all the art, at least I use. Uh, so then it should just look like this. Now that we have our files converted and our art set up, we can take our USB and make our way to the PS2, but not before petting the cat, this step is mandatory. Well, I have your attention, did you guys ever know that the PS2 had a USB port when you were kids? I didn't know that. Okay, now that we've actually booted the PS2 up, I'm just gonna fast forward through all this booting up stuff, you know, and go to OPL when you get there, but not. Now that you're in the OPL manager, you gotta go to go to menu, go to the settings, the top settings button, and all the way at the bottom right here, I need you to make your PS games display mode of what I have right there. I have it set to auto, uh, I think you can set it to on or off, I have it set to auto and it works just fine. Now that you've done that, you're gonna wanna hit save changes down at the bottom, and then hit right on your d-pad and Friday Night Funkin', there it is, with your art and everything if you did that. Just gonna fast forward through this again. Just like booting up. Took longer than usual to boot up. And here it is. You should now have Friday Night Funkin' on your PlayStation 2. Uh, I have to do this pretty often because it's often updated with cool new features that you should also check out when there's an update. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, I. That was pretty cool. If you want more, let me know.